Food is a weapon. They said when you sell real weapons and arms, you control armies. When you control food, you control society. When you control seed, you control life on earth. It just so happens that throughout history in every culture, it's women who kept the seed. I'm born in the Himalayan forest and uh, non-separation from nature was quite clearly a lesson. We had a classroom out in those forests. I chose as a young child to do physics, even though the schools I went to didn't offer it. Because for me, physics was about understanding how the world works. So at the end of it, I did a PhD in foundations of quantum theory. And it's quantum theory that taught me how to make connections. Because of my book, I got invited to a biotech meeting where I realized what the industry wanted to do with the seed, which is to take control of the seed through patent. That's when I started. I took a commitment to start saving seeds, but I also realized it's not enough to talk anymore. Got to do it. 40% of the solution to climate change lies in organic ecological farming in the hands of small farmers. Can't wait for governments and corporations to make the shift. People must. A GMO forced on people without a label is a criminal act. Monsanto is proud to be the industry leader in agricultural innovation. Monsanto sneaked into the budget law a clause that no court could ever rule against them. We're committed to helping farmers double yields by 2030. GMOs haven't produced more. There's only one way. Ecological farms, small farms. And yet, we get the propaganda. Without GMOs, people will starve. Without chemicals, people will starve. We have enough innovation and technologies to grow more food without killing our farmers. You have to throw the light of disclosure in order to break these secret bonds between manipulated officials, manipulated GMOs and manipulated science. This is Gandhi, seven social sins. Politics without principles, wealth without word, pleasure without conscience, worship without sacrifice. If I hadn't felt the imperative to come back to India, both to answer the puzzle of the disconnect between big science and big poverty, as well as just the search to give back. I didn't know how I'd give back, but I had to give back. from India. <laughs> Why did she drive you nuts? <laughs>